so as most of you know I have moved and a lot of you have been asking me to do an apartment tour so I thought well what better day to do an apartment tour than right now so let's get started on the apartment <laughs> Um, just some really simple uh, pictures, you know, with some of my really close friends. I'm sure you recognize one of them. So then we proceed into this, this like hallway section here. And this is kind of like the hallway entryway to my new apartment. As you can see, a lot of the things are going to be repetitive as far as furniture, stuff like that. But hallways. <laughs> this is my kitchen. So this kitchen's pretty cool because I feel like it's very open. You know, it's very, uh, there's, you know, two different ways you can come in and it's just, I feel like there's a lot of space. So it's, it's definitely convenient. There's a lot of storage, which is awesome. Lots of cabinets. And I'm so thankful to have another gas stove. That is the best thing ever. So uh, a couple of differences with this kitchen over my other one is, well, first and foremost, some of the cabinetry is the way it's separated is very different. As you guys can kind of see, there's like one cabinet chilling by itself over there. Um, there's some cabinetry above my, you know, refrigerator with all my cereal collections that I have. I like cereal, what can I say? And the other thing was, because the drawers are limited, my apartment was actually created for handicap. And so what one of those things meant, and it being a handicap apartment, or meant for a handicap actually, is there's not much in the way of cabinetry like underneath the sinks because they want to make it convenient for those people who are handicapped and wheelchairs you know need the use of walkers and stuff like that and so there's more up above cabinetry and then there's not as many drawers so my silverware i didn't have the option of having a location for it or a placement so i have this handy dandy little glass thing here a snowman towel you got wiggles so this is like my crap rack from like here down is crap and bills. And then these are like cards that I received for my birthday and just inspirational cards and just kind of like some knick-knacky things. So, you know, just cards that make me feel good and I wanted to kind of keep them to like reference and just look at for inspiration and to pull from. So that's what these are. And again, this is my crap rack down here. So we'll just keep it moving this way. So this is my dining room. It's meshed with my living room in the sense that it's not actually separated. There's no actual dining room in this apartment as there was in my other one or my other two previous ones, I should say. I know I move a lot. And this is my little centerpiece got going on here. I'm starting to decorate early for Christmas, so I'm in the way of getting out my snowman stuff slowly but surely, as most of you know, I am obsessed. You're gonna come into my living room. I wanted to keep my living room open because a nice thing about the apartment I'm in is I'm downstairs, so I can really kind of play with my dogs and really get them going, interacting and games and stuff, and then like in fetch. So I have this really nice long runway here for them. So with my living room being what it is, my TV and everything, again, uh, some simple sconces. This is my living room window, really basic, really simple. Um, these are my two you know, couch and seat, chair, oversized thing. Uh, these are my pillows, including dogs. So this is my wall here. I actually pulled inspiration from uh, my best friend, Sarah. Most of you know her. If you don't, well, then you're gonna know her, so. Uh, but yeah, she had this idea in her apartment and I really pulled from that, especially because we actually now I can say we've lived in the same apartment complex. So, her apartment, there's some similarities with our layout, and so that's kind of where I got the idea, but then of course I put my own spin on it with my own decor and stuff of that sort, so. This is what that is. This is my shelf. And then again, I have got one of those shelving units similar to that in the living room, except it's a black one. Again, I just kind of got my own little spin on things here. Some more of my bed. This is my, this is where all my educational magic happens, right here. These are the doggy beds. Although my bed is their bed, so. This is my closet, which, forgive me, I am still working on. But this is my walk-in closet, which I'm very thankful for. And would you believe me if I said it's almost full and I haven't even unpacked everything yet? It's kind of scary. 
So now we're gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> Together. All of us. Who's in my bathroom? We kind of know what, what we do in there. So, toilet, shower, um, toilet rack. So this is my vanity. It's where I do my makeup, I keep my perfumes. I'll sometimes have a candle over here or I'll, I'll just kind of reburn my wax from my wax melter. So it's just, you know, kind of an all around, you know, brushing your teeth, things of that sort, so. So guys, that is my apartment. I really hope you all enjoyed it. I really take a lot of pride in my apartment. You know, it's, it's a place where I come to decompress and to spend time with my dogs and just to kind of be myself. It's my comfort zone and I've worked really hard to get everything that I have in my apartment on my own. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed it and yay, now we've done the newest apartment tour. One out of four? Oh, that's scary, isn't it? I'm hoping not to move anymore now. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll be posting more videos soon. Bye.